A collection of animated interpretations of great works of Western classic music. Welcome to the Walt Vault with Michelle, Andre, Louise, and me, Emily. We're a family-friendly podcast where we pick a new Disney movie each week. We watch it, share our thoughts, and then relate it to pop culture, fandoms, and anything else that pops into our heads. Enjoy! Welcome to the Waltz Vault, episode 87. <laughs> Can you hear the song in there? I can't. Oh, there it is. Sorry, I lost my microphone. I was look- listening and I got all frantic because I couldn't figure out where musical my... Musical-themed episode. Thing. Might as well play the kids' toy songs. That is. Um, this week, we are not talking about more Star Wars, to my this chagrin. Week we're, we're doing a thing <laughs> I wanted to do and I now regret. <laughs> this week, we are talking about both the 1940 animated film and the 2000 animated film Fantasia and Fantasia 2000. Fantasia 1940 and Fantasia 2000. Mm-hmm. That's what I. Well, it's not called Fantasia 1940, but it, it is in my notes. <laughs> 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 it is in mine too. That's, that's how hilarious. they're being separated. Uh, yes, uh, Fantasia, the uh, musical. Well, it's not. It's not a musical. It's a. It's a anthology of animated shorts set to classical music. There you go. Yes, and based you know, on classical music. I feel like it's much easier to understand Fantasia from a current perspective than. A previous perspective because it is shorts, but yes. we know what shorts, shorts are now. They're you long I mean? shorts, but they're shorts. Right. But I remember as a kid being like, I don't get it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why are Cause they? Because it, it wasn't a, it's not movie. Like a movie. Why is it? Yes, exactly. It was much more like something that you should see in person. I feel like if this was played like Fantasia original, Fantasia proper, <laughs> was on stage, it would be much different than watching it on TV. Right. Recorded. Do you totally. know what I'm saying? Yes. Totally. Or in a theater. Which yeah, for sure. Let me start out with some fun facts. Uh, when this first came out in theaters, you know, it was a, it was a whole, it, this, is the, this is the only Disney animated movie to be over two hours at this point. And mm. for, 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 this is the first one and the, the last one for a while, like a while, while. I don't even know when the next one, like the 80s or something like that. Um, we should keep it under two. I'm just going to go Yeah. Uh, yes, ahead. exactly. <laughs> um, under 90. So, so it was over, it was over two hours. It was um, all these long classical pieces, and they put it in theaters. And at first, they wanted because they recorded it in a new technology called Fantasta Sound, which Ooh. they would have had to install in movie theaters to get it to play. And I think it's like oh. like a three D sound kind of kind of thing, I guess, before <laughs> surround sound, I guess. Okay. Um, so they did. They ended up not doing that because it was not going to be cost effective to install Interesting. technology into movie theaters. Um, for but then one movie. For one movie, yes. So then the movie comes out and people are like, "Eh, this isn't. This isn't really doing it for me. This is. I don't like. Yeah. It. I don't like it." So it was a box office bomb, and it was critically uh, hailed in in the in the news and stuff like that. People did not like it when it first came out. Yeah. This movie. So you mean like people threw hail at it, <laughs> not like it? They hailed its praises. No, they did not hail. They its didn't praises. hail its praises. <laughs> we but brought ice to this show. <laughs> <laughs> We're throwing it at the screen. Which I can agree with. The whole reason I wanted to do this is because I love Fantasmic and I love Sorcerer Mickey. And so I was like, yeah, Sorcerer's Apprentice, woohoo. Well, you know, it's like 15 minutes of the whole thing. That was two hours. So, I, <laughs> I mean, I could have just been like, we're going to watch just Sorcerer's Apprentice, or everyone. We, we could have just watched the live action, The Sorcerer's Apprentice, which is a movie starring Nicolas Cage. It's oh, by good Disney. God, no. I've never heard let's of that Let's do in it my next life. time. And no, Emily would have killed me <laughs> if we had watched that. No. It's really bad. <laughs> well, let's start with this. Well, and Mickey's Magical. Mickey and, and a Magical Map. He's got a Map. Well, as soon as Sorcerer Mickey came on, we'll get to this, but I was asleep for, I wasn't asleep, but it could have put me to sleep <laughs> until Sorcerer Mickey came on. Because Sorcerer Mickey is my favorite Mickey. He's the best Mickey. Oh, he is a very cool In Mickey. my opinion, I love Sorcerer Mickey. He's so cute. Um, so cute. I was very excited for that. And 10 out of 10, Sorcerer Mickey was great. But if we're doing our first impressions... Um, I don't even know how to do this. <laughs> well, we're going to do it for both. I've only seen Fantasia 2000, and I probably, I, I kind of remember maybe seeing bits and pieces of regular Fantasia from a kid. Mm-hmm. So from a kid. Unfor- from a kid. As a kid. So, unfortunately, that meant that Andre and I had to watch the full two-hour long movie because I didn't remember anything from it. Um, 
was not my favorite, and I wouldn't watch it again. I would watch Sorcerer Mickey again, and that's it. But Fantasia 2000, I actually still really, really enjoyed, and I liked it. But maybe it was because I watched it right after Fantasia, which I was cringing. So And you remember it as a kid. And I remember it as a kid, right. but I still liked the stories and the music choice significantly more in Fantasia 2000. So Fantasia 2000, good. Fantasia, just watch Sorcerer Mickey on YouTube. That's my <laughs> first impression. Or just watch Fantasia 2000. Yeah. Oh, we skipped it because we... Well, that's yeah, true. I forget. It's, it's in Fantasia, it's in Fantasia yeah. 2000. 2000. Okay. We skipped over it because we had to So nice. We're going to play it twice. Sorcerer yeah, because that was the best part about the first one, which we'll get into. Yes. Um, I will have my qualms with that. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Anyways, uh, Andre. Um, yeah. First impression. You know, I, I had seen this... The original Fantasia as a kid, I at some point, uh, I'm sure, you know, so I, I think I'm the same as you, Michelle. I mostly remembered Sorcerer's Apprentice, but I also remembered um, the Chernabog scene with uh, Nine but on Ball do Mountain. We, but do we remember that or do we just remember it because Chernabog's in Fantasmic? You know what I mean? Like, well, I think I'm getting my stuff My My memories are not tied to Fantasmic. My memories are tied to Fantasmic, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I, I remember the imagery of Chernabog uh, being up on his mountain, okay. flapping okay. his wings. Uh, raisin fire and all that. I believe you because I didn't know what his name was until you told me it was Chernabog. Chernabog. Like we were watching Fantasmic and he was like, oh, it's Chernabog. Yeah, it's not like they say it. They don't say it in the movie. They don't say it. Yeah, they don't. It's me, Chernabog. (laughs) Churn me up. (laughs) Oh my gosh. (laughs) All right. Give me (laughs) Um, your your Uh, impression. Dr. Chernabog sexy voice. Upon this this viewing of Fantasia, the first movie, it's... (laughs) Shut your mouth. It is really long. It's really yeah. long, and it's um, classical music, which, you know, I, I like classical music. I enjoy yeah, it. three of us do. But also, it's, I use it as like a relaxant. It's like, it's like mm-hmm. sleep fuel, you know? So that's kind of what this movie was for me. It was like, uh, hey, Andre, you want to take, take a nap? <laughs> Guess <laughs> For, who did take a nap? 45 minutes into this movie. Oh, I, I napped too. Me mm-hmm. and you both. Yeah, mm-hmm. napping, napping absolutely happened. But um, we watched Fantasia 2000 right after we watched um, Fantasia. And uh, that movie it feels much more cohesive to me. It feels like it's tighter. What it's does? The Fantasia 2000. Okay. It's tighter. It's shorter. It's shorter. It's, it's more, more It's more focused. And I think the, the stories that all the music is based on are better. Well, and the animation's and, better. And I like the music better. Yeah, but th- and then I have to think like it's 60 years later. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like they <laughs> so the, the, the animation, of course, looks better. It's 60 years later, but... I, I, I agree with you. Emily, first impression. Okay. So I'm going to disagree with you. I think, okay, first off, only disagreeing with one part, so I don't know why I started with that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but my baby is legitimately eating the cord. Do you see this right <laughs> my now? Cord. She's eating your cord. New podcast baby. That's yeah. a podcast baby right there. Okay. Fresh, fresh podcast baby. Um, okay. Um, I remember Fantasia very vividly mm. as a kid. That's I mean, so interesting. I know the story of these weird colors and flowers and little pixie things and and centaurs and Zeus and all that. I remember oh, everything. Oh, okay. Did I like it as a kid? I don't even think I liked it as a kid, but I remember watching you remember it. it. Yeah. Um, Your yeah, mom put it on. My mom put <laughs> it on and I watched it. I remember very specifically wanting to see Sorcerer Mickey, but that mm-hmm. it scared me. Oh, okay. That parts of it, like mm-hmm. when the when the brooms start popping up, that freaked me out. Yeah. And I will tell you right now that for the first time ever, I saw the Chernabog scene. Mm-hmm. I, oh, you had never I seen it before? I was too scared or my mom didn't You put it out of your it. brain, probably. No, I never have seen it. It's very uh, possible that your mom did not allow you to watch it because I read, I read when that. You read it, it's, when you read what it's about, it's much worse than when you actually mm-hmm. watch it, I feel it's like. It's real demonic. It No, it literally is like... It's the devil on the hill, <laughs> like calling on his, Halloween, yeah. Yeah. pulling up their nasty forces yep. to literally like raping them. Which like, <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> I was like, wow, <laughs> okay, yeah. So legitimately, 1940s Disney, y'all. <laughs> yeah, Luis was like, why would they do this? But anywho, I realized we're we're adrift. But point being, literally never saw that. So besides that, my first impression is that this is where I differ. I think. That overall, it's more cohesive mm-hmm. in its in its style. Which one? 
it, the first one. The first one. Okay. I feel like Fantasia is more the the style of the animation mm-hmm. and the style of the music is more cohesive yeah. than the I second one. I agree with that. Yeah, that's yes. true. I'm not saying I like it right. because I don't understand why we're putting literal 15 minute pieces in there. It made it long way too pieces. long. So I appreciate Fantasia 2000 much yeah. more because there was literally one that was like three minutes long. Yeah, oh, the flamingo one like, with the yo-yos. Dig those flamingos. Oh, I know. Awesome. Flamingos Andre was like, "That was cute." Oh, that was <laughs> right? great. That was that was acceptable. Yeah. So I definitely have a much better first impression with that one. Mm. But I feel like it was disjointed. Like I felt like I was have, like, yeah. having whiplash in between them. Yeah, I'm okay with it still though. Uh, oh, oh, I, I don't yeah. disagree with you, but I still I'm fine with it. Louise, first impression. Which one? Fantasia. Let's do the original. Hmm. <coughs> <laughs> Mm. He's gonna say long. It's two hours. Come on now. Are you kidding me? Way too long. <laughs> um, now, as far as like, I can't really comment in terms of like the cohesiveness of anything because, in a sense, the music seemed a little bit like not together. Like, kind of how like a soundtrack should be. Of a typical movie. Okay. Right. That yeah. itself seemed like they were just, oh, this song, let's put this song there. Oh, let's grab this song from there and let's put it there. It's just totally what they did. Probably. Yeah. Somebody was just like, I like these songs. It was probably Walt Disney, like, y'all, I like this song, I like that song, do something with it. Yeah. Yes. He probably did. That's basically and what happened. And oh, really? Me, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. It's too disjointed. I like structure. And right. that was not structure. Okay. What about Fantasia 2000? That's I cool. felt that one had, it from what I, you know, listened to, I felt that the music on that one flowed a little bit more. Okay. A little tiny bit more. Not much more. <laughs> a little <laughs> bit Don't more. get Not crazy. Much Not much more. <laughs> but, yeah, um, that's the music side of it. I mean, on first impressions, meh. Yeah, For he would not rewatch them. I'll tell you that. Oh man, <laughs> he you, couldn't you even watch it the first time. I I'd only do it for hundred oh, bucks. I, I will wouldn't do it for fifty. Literally, <laughs> I will <laughs> literally <laughs> never watch regular Fantasia again. I don't Definitely even know. Definitely not all the way through. No, uh, none of it. And we'll get into this, but I I kind of want us to start by saying like let's start with Fantasia. Say which song or whatever was your favorite, and say which one was your least favorite, because I just want to see how mm. we compare in this, uh, because. We can talk about all of them, but we don't need to. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's so true. Fantasia has how many songs? I can't remember. So let me read them for you. Had or quite you a few. I, I have them. Ooh, okay, yeah, read, read them. them. There was so a lot because it was um, two hours. Takata in Fugue in D minor. I don't even think there's that many. Was that the one where it was just colors? By Johann Sebastian <laughs> Bach. Yeah, and that's where this one weirded me out. That's this one. Oh, nice. But I like that song. You know what I mean? Mm. You know what? Maybe w- maybe they should do Fantasia mm. live in concert, and w- then we go. I would watch. That it. would be I great. Would probably would like it. That'd be I dope. don't even care if it's the exact same animation up on the screen with a live orchestra. And it would probably that would be better. really cool. Yeah. Um, okay, that yeah, was that the one where it was just like colors. There's the Nutcracker Suite. Nutcracker Suite. Oh, by I thought I was gonna. Uh, if I, Tchaikovsky. I don't need to see goldfish dancing for five minutes. Ugh. Okay. But I like the Nutcracker Suite. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. You, you, you've heard it before. Yeah, so it's know the it. dance of the sugar plum fairy. You've been to ballet. The Chinese dance, the Arabian mm-hmm. dance, the Russian dance, the dance yeah, of the flutes and the waltz of the flowers. Those were some very, very specific flowers <laughs> dancing up there. A whole bunch of uh, <laughs> sweets. Right. Um, and then there's the hit, The Sorcerer's Apprentice. Yay. Um, this is the bop of the, <laughs> of the, it's of the, the movie. This we, is the, love a, we love a sorcerer. This is the jam movie. right here. And I like The Apprentice. I like, uh, what's his name? You mean Yel, the apprentice is Yel, 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 what? Yen Sin, Yen Sin, Yen Sin thank is you. the wizard, and oh. uh, he is modeled directly after Walt Disney. The animators were playing like a little joke on him, and uh, Yen Sin? yes, yes, Disney, he, Walt oh Disney. Oh my god, Yen Sin is Disney spelled backwards. That's okay. Mm-hmm. I'm dumb. Revolutionary. Right. I get uh, it now. But yes, they. they and Yen Sin is like the dude from. Mickey and, and the, magical the Magical Map. Yeah, I love it. But him. I didn't make that connection. Like, I used to from get this oh, right. I used to get him and Merlin this. confused. Oh, for they sure. Look the same. Um, there's one is just a little bit more fantastical. <laughs> yeah, right. one's real serious. Like get it together, make a mouse. There <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> After that, there was the Rite of Spring by Leopold Stokowski. That was a hard pass. For um, me. yeah, not my fave. Wait, music. which one was that again? What's happening oh, on the screen? No, that one's by Igor. Hang on, Stravinsky. Igor Stravinsky. Why does this say? 
Leopold Sikowski. Oh, and the Philadelphia Orchestra. Oh, this was with My the bad. little fairies and the seasons were changing? No. Oh, we're this not one is the one with the planets. The dinosaurs. The planets and the first living creatures and all oh, of that. Oh, I fun fell stuff. asleep. <gasps> I fell asleep. Woo! I, will tell you. <laughs> I woke up when the T Rex <laughs> killed the one thing and I was like, this is sad. <laughs> it reminds me of the, the train when you're going around Disneyland. Yes. Well, it is. That fight scene is exactly that train. Oh, so okay. That that. That, that T-Rex and that mon- the other dinosaur, uh-huh. those are the two dinosaurs fighting in the train. Yeah, oh, that whole diorama they, is inspired by, by Fantasia, yes. It was. Okay, mm-hmm. so I'm not Because when we were that. watching, I was like, babe, it's the train. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> for sure. But I like the train <laughs> better than that, <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> um, after <laughs> that is the <laughs> Pastoral Symphony by Ludwig van that Beethoven. The the Hold on, you met the Meet the Soundtrack. Oh, yes. Vision. Also, meet the soundtrack. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, was, I was trying so hard. <laughs> the line. Andre and I are just staring at it like, huh? Yeah. Like at that point, I was like, oh, man. Okay, <laughs> go and ahead. And then there was, what, like a 15-minute intermission? And I was like, oh, I'm going to kill myself. I mean, okay. it wasn't an intermission. I mean, well, for... They closed the curtain. On Disney Plus, yeah, it wasn't an intermission. I was like, curtain close, and the musicians go away, and we're back. All right. Thanks. I was nice. like, that wasn't 15 minutes. I needed a nippy nap. Um, after the Pastoral Symphony is the Dance of the Hours by Amilcar Poncielli. That's the fairies. This is the one with the hippos and the ostriches and oh. the alligators. The Pastoral Symphony was the one with Zeus and the centaurs and all that. That yes. was before this. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. And then... Um, my second favorite jam is the is end. It's A Night on Bald Mountain. We'll buy Modest mean, Murs- Musorski. I like that song. And Ave Maria by Franz Schubert. Okay. So we've you gone over them. <laughs> it literally says, At midnight, the devil Chernabog awakens and summons evil spirits and restless souls from their graves mm-hmm. to Bald Mountain. Yep. Spirits dance and fly through the air until driven back by the sounds of Angelus Bell. Mm-hmm. Night fades into dawn. Oh, and then a chorus is heard singing Ave Maria. And with the road monks depicting the walking to a lighted <laughs> forest into the ruins of a cathedral, which I didn't get that And by the time whatever. Ave Maria yeah. was on, we literally fell asleep. Because that's <laughs> like a lullaby. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to lie. It was... <laughs> All right. All right. And also, I didn't need to end on that. I was like, okay. And we're done. Okay, Andre, you're yes. f- I think we should disclude Sorcerer Mickey because I think we're all going to agree it's probably the best one. Oh, Emily does not. Okay, mm. anyways, Andre. Well, okay, so uh, for me, it's it's actually really close between Night on Ball Mountain and The Sorcerer's you Apprentice. You like that with one? You. Night on Ball Mountain is sick, okay? Okay, it's Andre awesome. really does like it because every time he sees Chernabog and Fantasmic, he gets really excited. Okay, the song is really cool. The uh, song is, is very cool. cool. The song is very cool. And then the imagery, though terrifying, is awesome. He's like... Wake up, demons! Let's go! Let's party! And the demons are like, "Yeah, Not it's party time! Woo! <laughs> yeah, we're the yeah. demons like the little fire demons. Yeah, and then the demons were like, "Yeah, I'm partying on the fire!" And they're like whipping their hair back and forth. Andre's only saying and that <laughs> because uh, I can't. Uh, this is a kid-friendly thing. Okay, if your if your children are listening, you can cover their ears. What are you uh, about to say? Because <laughs> oh, there was you? boobies in this one. <laughs> <laughs> you should see my I'm leaving that in. <laughs> You should see my notes and what it says. It's just one word. Oh, and oh, Andre yeah. was like falling asleep and it came on the screen. And he was like, boobies. <laughs> nice. Oh, Jesus. That's why he likes Stop. it. Stop. No, but he does like, you do like that one. But yes, uh, I, I, I had a feeling. You I do it. really like it because um, despite how scary the imagery is, it's also, it, it's it's very interesting that they decided to put this, this demon raising, uh, this devil raising souls from the dead and well if you think about them can i Halloween song party. it makes sense oh see i disagree i literally wrote in my notes the depiction on screen does not match the music at all oh, like i, I feel like does. it's not that hmm. scary sounding to have it's because of the one part of the song i don't even know if we could get there's a clip of one part of the song where i feel like it very very much fits Turn maybe Bog. i mean I, know, I couldn't i couldn't possibly find it i can just play the song it's probably not this part the rager yeah, the <laughs> if you just listen to the song right now, I don't think it turned a bug at all, but you know. Well, at the at the beginning where um, you know, it's like <laughs> you know how you know how it goes. Yeah, this part. That that Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. But I'm associating bum, bum, it again bum, bum, bum. with what? 
fantastic, fantastic because it's sure. in there. Oh, I thought you were going to say Saturday Night Fever. No, and that's when Chernabog <laughs> and that's Fever. when Chernabog comes on the screen with the windmills and it's like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're right. So that's the only reason I'm probably thinking that. But okay, that's your favorite. What's your least favorite? Um, my least favorite. Let's wait. Check. So yours was a toss up between Chernabog and Sorcerer Mickey. Yes. So uh, if we're, we'll say Chernabog. Can yes. I just so, say something so really Chernabog's fast? Yeah. yeah. About Chernabog? This song was n- Night on Bald Mountain mm-hmm. was literally never performed in any form during the dude's lifetime. What? Because really? his mentor refused to perform it. <laughs> Why? He was like, this song sucks. <laughs> That's amazing. His Russian mentor was like, nope, I am not playing <laughs> this at any point. That's so hilarious. So in the 1800s, when he wrote it, nobody would do it. That oh is boy. hilarious. That is quite hilarious. That's I awesome. love it. Well, no, I no thank that. you, Modest. His first name was Modest. What is it Modest. Called? Is, it called? is it called like Saturday Night on Bald Mountain or something like oh, that? It's, it's like the disco Mountain. version of, of Night on Bald Mountain. <laughs> it's like... I wish you could see on you know, I really need you to find that. It really does. I'm gonna put it as my alarm when I wake up in the morning. Okay, least favorite, babe. Least favorite. Okay, so my least favorite. Um, I literally have to go through my notes. Um, to remember which of these is which. Well, which what was on the screen? I will say, um. I was not a fan of which one, which was the one that was really making me go night night. The I first one with the fairies and stuff. D- no, I, no. I, I, the I think it's the um, dinosaurs. Yeah, I think it's the rite of spring. That one was really because like it starts. <laughs> I fell asleep, so I don't know. It, it starts <laughs> and, the and, and the way that the narrator is presenting it, he's like, "This is about science and science only, and this is how the Earth was formed." And I was like, "Cool, I like science. I like I like the plants and galaxies and stuff like that." That's yeah, gonna that be, was right. It's going to be cool. And then I know that eventually we're going to get to at least dinosaurs, if not um, anything after that. But then, yeah, it starts and it's like. Nom, 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 nom. Well, I'm that is fine. the wrong song, <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, you know what I mean. Um, it starts and it's like. I don't remember the song. It's going really slowly through the um, through the stars and then the planet shows up. And it's I just like, like how he said that there's bullies lava. and gangsters with dinosaurs. Did you remember him saying that? Well, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> right. Dinosaurs are bullies and gangsters. All I remember gangsters. is I woke up, yeah. I, I saw the speck, and then I fell asleep. And then I woke up, and it was like he had become the amphibian, and then I fell asleep. And then I woke up, and <laughs> I woke up right when the dinosaur was, like, catching another dinosaur in its mouth, like the flying dinosaur, mm-hmm. and then it dragged it into the lake, and I was like, wow, depressing. <laughs> and, then wow. I, and then I fell asleep again. It was so the, the I'm assuming it wasn't great. The Rider Spring was cool until, like, after the volcanoes started erupting, and then I was, like, out. You know, yeah. Well, and then how did it end? Just water. all the dinosaurs like died. Um, the the dinosaurs show up, and then the T Rex is attacking, and then um, and it died. Yeah, that's that's about. It. That's when I that stopped taking notes about on it. The train ride at Disneyland. <laughs> 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 that's my least favorite part of the train. It's my least favorite part of this movie. Mm. Done. What? I like that part of the train. The part oh. of the train is cool. I do not need. To you like that part of the train. Where the dinosaurs are fighting? Yeah. 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 It is so boring. It's got that I like it because and I really like appreciate ah, that that ah. it's a very, very large animatronic. Well, what's your favorite <laughs> part of the train? Is it dur- like people dur- watching? Dur- 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 the bobcat? Yeah, the bobcat. <laughs> no, that's that whole part. It's like from <laughs> tomorrow. Oh, well, you to don't the, like it? To Main Street. Oh, I get real cry. mad if we go on the train and I don't go through the. The, the diorama. diorama. No, that's awful. Oh. I like going from Main Street to New Orleans. Oh, no, I got to okay. see the diorama. I get hecka excited. I'm like, it's coming, babe. It's coming. <laughs> I like it because right before there, you go through like where there's like some foresty parts mm-hmm. of, like of the park. Like behind the scenes. Yeah, and yeah. then you can see all the gigantic spiders that Disneyland Ooh, has. Ooh, Andre and they all and I love build gigantic it's webs true. in those trees. We and love it's looking really at cool those to look at to count on the train. We used to count how many we could see on the train yeah. ride. Yeah. Freaking weirdos. That's what you do when you're an adult at Disneyland. <laughs> Anyways, Emily, favorite one from Fantasia. You get to go next because I say so. Okay. Because, she because says so. I'm still thinking about my um, least favorite. I would say because it just is it's like people g- are just getting it <laughs> in all kinds of ways. Probably the Pastoral Symphony. I is remember that the one with the Zeus? Yeah. Okay. I remember liking that one the most as a kid. Um, but it also just 
does it makes sense, but it also doesn't make sense, yeah. which makes it just silly. But I mean, I think that I felt like that one had the most storyline out of all of them, and I think that's why I like it. The creatures were just they're just having a party, man. They are partying. This is part of it. <laughs> I was just laying some betting music for, oh, thank you. <laughs> for you talking. I, it I was also to felt like music. the longest one. To I me think though. it was the longest. Okay. Yeah. No, for sure. But I like the idea that symphonies, like right? everyone's getting down on Earth, doing whatever it is they're doing, and Zeus is like, no. Mm-mm. He's like, that I feel like um, making a mess here. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, that's not what I wanted you to be doing down there. At one point, he's literally just like dropping thunderbolts, like absentmindedly out of his hands like oops i guess y'all just but got I hit by Zeus some more lightning like that, <laughs> <you know? laughs> it's hilarious yeah he does that and then he turns into animals and, and does yeah. weird freaky stuff with humans those those are his two traits you know <laughs> <laughs> but i i like i like that one because um it shared a lot of like imagery with hercules yes. which is interesting you know like i'm not sure if the i think that's why hercules, i liked like, it as a kid went back to this specifically but like it looks very similar mm-hmm. between it was definitely the, the one thons. that kept me interested the most like i don't know if it was my favorite but i couldn't look away yeah like because i was like what what's happening like what are they doing now yeah you know what i mean yeah. like i like i said i don't think it was my favorite but i think it was the most interesting everybody's getting for their sure frolic on <laughs> <laughs> at least it had a storyline like yes. you said yeah cupid yeah. was making sure people were Cupid did. Cupid was working hard. All they the were. Little, all the there was chirps. a lot of Cupids in there. Little cherub Cupid. babies. <laughs> Cherubinis up in here. Cherubinos. A lot of Cupids. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, and I got excited because I thought they were mermaids at first when they were in the <gasps> water. Yes. And I Dude. was like, mermaids. And then she got out of the water. I was like, ah, it's a centaur. <laughs> <laughs> I literally wrote that it totally reminded me of the mermaids from Peter Pan. Yeah, it did. Yeah. And that's why I got super excited. I was like kind of awake then. And then it was a centaur. And I was like, boo. I said sassy centaurs remind me of Peter Pan. <laughs> they, I were, they were funny. I liked them. I wrote the song moves on. When they're on walking like, oh, ho, ho, their hair <laughs> all done. I wrote the song moves on to some naked mermaids. And now I'm interested. <laughs> Whoa, scratch that. They are centaurs. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that's out. hilarious. <laughs> okay, no least favorite, Emily. From, Fan- from Fantasia. Um, I don't like the dinosaurs. But I also don't like Chernobyl. I'm mm. just going to throw it out there that I, I just don't think that it makes any sense in this movie. <laughs> and it's what you end on. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. I don't think it makes any sense, like, with everything else. Like, why did you put that in there? Like, if it I had, don't know why If it had been it its there. own thing. Someone at Disney was like, Rrr. Yeah. I, I just feel like it, it takes the whole movie that was all pretty chill, and it just takes it to this, like, super crazy point, and then they, like, end it with Ave Maria, and they're supposed to be monks walking, but monks are all supposed to be men, and then there's a woman singing. It just drives me nuts. Like, there's no... Yeah. It's not... Who directed that one? Emily doesn't like that no, one. No, <laughs> they did an awful I mean, job. There's no... I can't think of the word right now because it's too late for me to be doing this and I haven't <laughs> had enough coffee today. <laughs> <gasps> um, There's no consistency. Yeah, I don't know yeah. who directed which, this one. which pieces. That's why Andre likes it. This, this Andre <laughs> likes the lack of consistency in, <laughs> in the Chernobyl scene. I think scene. Andre avoids... Uh, are you including the Ave Maria part in the this is what you like? Very much not. No. Yeah, that's what I thought. He just <coughs> hey, like, that's part of the thing, though. Uh-huh. I know, but he just likes when he's but all big on the mountain. my enjoyment cuts off as soon as Ave Maria fades but in. But tell me that it doesn't make any sense. It's like... Well, it, to me, it seems like it's like, hey, and then Christianity saved Halloween because they started singing Ave <laughs> Maria. Saved Halloween? That's kind of what that's, it, that's how a, it's that's supposed to be. I think so, because all the spirits are coming mm-hmm. to life for one night, and then and then okay. a bell rings, and then it's uh, like I get what they're time. trying to say, like archetypally about it, but mm. I just feel like was all that necessary? <laughs> that was just like yeah. it's like here, let me just throw all this abstract music at you and what we want to do, and then let's just put like a burp, nee, this is going to end the movie. Yeah. Word. Yeah, and that's how she Word, feels. Olivia. <laughs> I don't know. You're not wrong. And then it, it's, it's even just a w- weird ending to It's the even worse that it's the ending. Yes. For because sure. I'm like, okay. It, it's a super what slow a great and processional like that's, ending. That's what you want to end on? Are and you sure? It almost feels like it's like a little insulting <laughs> that they like like all of these pieces are supposed to be attached to like cool animation. But then for Ave yeah. Maria, it's just like it's the worst. Hey, check out these lights. They're just along. little lights. That's it. And apparently, it was it was crazy hard for production just for that Ave Maria. Um, well, then why did they? Do and it I'm going to be honest. I am a huge fan of the song Ave Maria. Yeah. So Andre, yeah, I like yeah, that song. I, like I wrote this is the most boring segment I've ever seen of Ave Maria. <laughs> I didn't think you could mess up a song 
exemplifying hope, but it was done here. Like, they yeah. literally are just oh, showing you go through in, like an open little light to a really funky yeah. scene. Uh, I don't disagree with you oh. at all. It was uh, just, it makes no sense. Well, to and me. that's why I legit fell asleep. I was like, well, good night. It put me to sleep. Well, and here's the and here's the honest truth. Had Chernabog been its own thing, mm -hmm. and then it had cut, and then there had been a scene after it, then I probably wouldn't feel the same way. But mm. I just feel like as a whole. But the both of them together. It just doesn't doesn't work for me. It's interesting. I wonder why they put them together. It it's probably because they didn't want to leave it on like that kind of a note. You want to know yeah, what bugs me about the Chernabog one? Is the transition between the two, like the Chernabog part to the Ave Maria part, because all it was was a flashing light, and Chernabog just keeps cringing, but he does it like ten times. Like, ah, the light. Ah, cringe. Ah, the ah. light. <laughs> cringe. And, and it's like, like really church slow. bells like ringing too. Yeah. I know, but it was really slow, and I was like, okay, okay, we get it. He doesn't like it. Like, <laughs> But he also doesn't like, he doesn't like perish at the end either. He no, kind of just, he like just goes back to his mountain. Curls up into the into the. He only mountain. comes out once a year. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That's cool to know that he's up there all the I'm time. I'm surprised that it's not called Bad Mountain. Watching it's over just us. called Bald Mountain. It's Escape to Witch Mountain. I mean, he That's doesn't have any hair. <laughs> <laughs> just wings. <laughs> <laughs> he um, doesn't so have any hair. Oh, my gosh. So my favorite. Your favorite? So my favorite one is Sorcerer Mickey, but we, we can talk about Sorcerer Mickey separately since we're probably going to say it sparked a lot of things. You know what I mean? So my favorite one, if we're discluding Sorcerer Mickey, is the one with the elephants and the hippos and the alligators. Mm -hmm. that Which is one is that one called? The um, Dance of the Hours. Okay, well I just Amelke think it's Funchelli. it's silly, and I think it was the one I was awake the most on mm -hmm. because it was actually a little bit more upbeat than the others. But I just can't get over how ridiculously funny I think the alligators are. So <laughs> that's so why sassy. it's my favorite. I think they're all funny. Because they walk in, uh, it like reminds me of like Darkwing Duck or something. They walk in like in their cloaky capes mm -hmm. and then they just straight up <laughs> like open them up. So it's. You want chocolate sauce on your ice cream? Yes. Is, is that, that what, what you're you're asking? Asking? you were doing? You can ask out loud. It's all you, good. You like it too? I'm not even, I'm not even gonna cut any of this out. Luis likes that one too? This is the one where they're doing ballet, right? Yeah, yeah. it's funny. I you think it's funny? Yeah, it was. I was trying to like figure it. out what you were doing. I was like, "Were you he doing was ballet?" Going like this. He was How was that ballet. not a ballerina doing this little spin? <laughs> <laughs> my hands are above my head. <laughs> I thought you were trying to be the alligator with his hands. <laughs> Andre's up there. like, "Yeah, she wants chocolate sauce I'm not on sure her eyes." <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "I'm dancing." Andre, I thought you were just still. Andre, how does that transcend to chocolate sauce? He was just miming at ice cream sauce mimes, and then it came over here and kept miming. Did yeah. you like that one, Lou? It was kind of, from what I saw, it was kind of funny. I um, thought it was silly. Yeah. Well, yeah, that was the only silly. one that, this is the interesting part, because as a kid, I didn't make this connection, because this is going to be my problem in the next movie, is it's the only one with, like, actual animation. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, Sorcerer Mickey is two, but it sure. still has the same, like. It's at least brighter. Yes. Like, like the other one still was muted. Like yeah. like Sorcerer Mickey still had, like, the watercolor feel. That's yeah. true. But this one is, like, straight. Regular but yes. Philly, and they explained to me what it was. They said, you're going to see these costume things. They didn't say animals, which I think is so funny when they're explaining right. it. Right. These costume characters will come in, and they're each going to be a different time of day. And this one goes to this time of day, and this one goes to this time of day, and this one goes to this time of day. Mm -hmm. And so as I was watching it, I was like, I totally get this. <laughs> like, this is funny. And I just can't because the alligators are hilarious. That's what I thought um, he was being when he walked over here because he had his arms up like yes, he had his yes. cape covering Gosh, him. Gosh, it's so stinking funny. <laughs> like Dracula like walking in I'm like you're ridiculous <laughs> but I think as a kid those are the only two I remember yeah is is Sorcerer Mickey and the one with the hippos and the tutus yeah. because but then again, hippos and tutus for a kid is funny I feel know? like the hippo and tutu is also pretty iconic in other places too like yeah. they've used that yes. imagery other they places they definitely Absolutely. use it in parades at Disneyland yes because mm -hmm. I think as a kid I remember seeing those in a parade yeah, and I think you I've see seen all of those animals I maybe not the ostriches you see that one and I think the ostriches Ostrich in um, Roger Rabbit 2 in the back. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I, I remember yeah, that yeah, yeah. very yeah. specifically. That seeing and honestly, some of those animals are probably in Fantasmic too, and I can't like think of it. Yeah. Maybe. It's possible. But um, yes, that's my favorite one because it it's, was it's enjoyable. And yeah. it wasn't super long either. 
Like it was, it was yeah, pretty that succinct. Yeah, pretty, pretty short. It's not, not um, too bad. So that was my favorite one. Okay. Although it was taking a long time for me because I knew that Night on Bald Mountain was next. I was like, let's go. Well, and get Andre these was like, I'm waiting for the, the next screen. one. And I was like, I'm enjoying these alligators. <laughs> like, I'm going to fall asleep again after this. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let um, me have my alligators. It's fine. But uh, all in all, Sorcerer Mickey still reigns supreme. The Sorcerer's Apprentice. Sorcerer and Mickey. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. It's Sorcerer and Mickey. <laughs> Luis, you like Thanks. Sorcerer and Mickey? They were both the same, right? Yeah, they were yes, the same in both. both. Yeah. Um, to a certain degree, I thought it was, you know, uh, pleasant. Yeah. But like, pleasant. Pleasant. Mickey is a dum dum. He's always like that in cartoons. But like he the gets no, into no, no, trouble. No, 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 no. I don't think I've ever told you guys this, but I've never seen Mickey as a dum dum, ever. What do you mean? You never, never, never seen like him as a dum dum. You saw seen him, him in Mickey and the Magical Map. He was being a dum dum. Mm-hmm. And that's why I don't like it. Oh. Interesting. I think here's the deal. I've though, always growing up. I, I I'm, I'm not as Disney fanatic as you guys. I became that because of my wife. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. true. But I've always seen Mick, Mickey as kind of like the the, the go to person. He's yeah. the leader. I've never Who's seen the him leader as the a dum dum. Never. Which it's funny, Luis, because I feel the same way. Growing up, I d- even though I loved Disney, I didn't watch stuff with Mickey in it. Mm-hmm. I watched Disney princesses and Disney characters yeah. and stuff, mm-hmm. and so I always thought. Licky, Licky, <laughs> Licky, hey! <laughs> I always thought he was the ringleader, so right. I'm like kind of with he Luis. Where like, where you watch these other movies where him and Donald and Goofy are a bunch of idiots. I kind of agree as well. Like, I'm like, what? Well, I definitely agree, but I also fully know now that Mickey's an idiot because every time <laughs> we watch Mickey and the Magical Map, my favorite thing he's to getting do is when trouble. he's like stepping on the spot, and Andre's like. Mickey, come on, Mickey, you messed up, Mickey. <laughs> and it just, Mickey. he does it every time, it's and it true, cracks though. me up. I'm like, yeah, because Mickey's an idiot. You've disappointed but he has us to all, learn Mickey. a lesson. That's yeah, he has to learn his children. lesson. Like that. But, but yeah, I, I grew up playing Kingdom Hearts, and in Kingdom Hearts, he's dumb in that Mickey, too? Mickey is a king. Oh. He's, he's the king, and he's, like, missing, so you have to go, like, on a hunt to find him. But yeah. then in the second game, he's basically, like, Obi-Wan Kenobi to Luke Skywalker, basically. Mm-hmm. He's just like a master of a keyblade, and he's super powerful, and he's he's really cool. He actually is lo- actually a lot like Yoda, because he's like yeah. flipping around and, and swinging a sword and stuff like and that. And you're not expecting him to be like getting into trouble? Like, no, absolutely not. Like he's not He's on his own mistakes. adventure that I kind of wish I was on with him, because I know mm-hmm. that he's like doing all the right stuff. But yeah, seeing Mickey as this kind of like... Um, bumbling <laughs> le- learning character. <laughs> um, he was like, get these buckets for me. I'm lazy. <laughs> oh, that, <laughs> was like, so that's why just I, do it yourself, Mickey. Geez. Well, that's where I, well, I admired him because he, he like, <laughs> he, wanted to was be, smart. he wanted to be lazy. He was yeah. Cause he wanted to be lazy. And that's exactly what I'm going to use magic for when I inevitably find a hat. Um, <laughs> But then when he, the first time he's doing it, he like grows the arms out of the broom and has the broom pick up the buckets and stuff like that. But then he's like walking and dancing up the stairs with, along said. with the he's broom. Like, Just sit down. It's like, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> you might as well catch if you're going to go up there, you might as well carry two buckets. What are you? <laughs> why would you even need to put this hat on? I don't care. I love it. Yeah. I love it. It wasn't until he started getting efficient. Get 30 brooms out there. Uh, Let's go. That freaked me out as a Fill kid. up the water. That's what I'm saying. It is kind of scary. It scared the me when... When like he broke it, he like okay that was that was terrifying. Okay? I was like oh oh wow. yeah he pulls a straight up Jack Nicholson and he grabs an axe and he <laughs> chops the broom to pieces. I didn't remember that part as a kid. It's like red and flashing yes. as he's doing it too. It's like this is murder. Uh, <laughs> and then <laughs> this is broom murder, broom murder. And but then the magic it like it, this is uh, Jens has got some necromancy stuff going on because the <laughs> the broom all the broom pieces just turn into individual That's brooms what and rise me as a kid. like. That freaked me out that they all just kind of like came back to Yikes. life. And then they were like straight up zombies. Yeah, like, they were zombies. Oh, jeez, that was scary. Because he like, what does he do? He like falls asleep at one point <laughs> and he's just like, no, 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 keep going, magic. And he wakes up and the room is flooded because <laughs> they so all just like, oh no, keep going. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's good stuff. That, that, that one is the best one. Of, yeah, of it the, is. Of and the whole Mickey movie. is the cutest. I like his outfit. Well, like his hat. So this is a... Oh, I agree. I, if you see Sorcerer Mickey, like, dressed up, mm-hmm. he's the cutest. Oh, like, in the park, too. I'm like, it's Sorcerer Mickey. Oh, That's why I love bomb. watching Phantasmic. I'm like, baby's gonna wear the hat. The hat's coming. <laughs> when, I know, when he comes out and you're like, oh, Mickey. And Mickey do the, 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 the Do points. the finger points. Do, do the, the finger, finger points. points. So, fun fact about Mickey. So, before... 
this, before they started making this movie, Mickey was still like um, Steamboat Willie Mickey. He had oh. the black eyes and mm. no, no shirt or whatever. So they redesigned him for this movie. Good to know. But, but it wasn't the first time anybody saw the the redesign because apparently like okay. apparently oh, like three or four little mini cartoons had come out okay. before Fantasia came out. With him as Wait. the sorcerer? With him, with him, with him having more you know Mickey-ish. more Mickey-ish. He's got Less his eyes. He's story. got his yellow. He's got his gloves on. All all the stuff. <laughs> so the so question: <laughs> If that's the case, then was Mickey uh, pre Sorcerer Mickey dopey like this? I think so. Yeah, in all the cartoons. So oh, he's like, have you seen Steamboat Willie? So essentially, it took Mickey maybe about fifty years to mature into <laughs> the one I know. <laughs> yes. It yeah, did. I think so. No, I, I really right. did. Have all you right. seen Have you seen no. Steamboat Willie? Okay, it's I on know. Disney Plus. We watched it when we first got it. It's like seven and minutes long. You think Mickey's an idiot in The Sorcerer's Apprentice? You're gonna watch Steamboat Willie and be like, "What in the world? <laughs> <laughs> like, why are you doing any of the things you're doing?" Okay, so I think this is a great transition into the second movie because it is shared in both. Yes. yes. And I'm gonna tell you that for it being in the original movie, I really like it. Going into the second movie, because I hadn't seen it, I was expecting them to have done something <laughs> to it. Yeah. I was very annoyed that it literally was cut and pasted it's in. It's exactly the same. They didn't update it. I was they like, didn't you remaster. Can't remaster they didn't <laughs> they didn't do Excuse anything. Me, <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, uh, but yeah, they did they they really didn't. They uh like even the color like make it brighter or make it something. They didn't recolor, they didn't do anything else to it. And I think that's just to be like this is Fantasia and now Fantasia's in Fantasia. 2000. It's Fantasia Seption. Yeah, I guess. I don't, know. I don't they, like I, it. I'm I, sorry. Yeah, they didn't do anything, but we just skipped it, you know what I mean? Because we had already watched it. it. It's bothersome, though, because I feel like they could have done something to at least make it a little bit more exciting. Yeah. I do like that, like, Mickey ran from, like, after it was over and they were doing their their yeah. explanations right. in between. He, like, ran off, quote-unquote, mm-hmm. off the stage. That was cool. We talked to the other narrator yeah. in, in this one. I liked that, how it was like he was supposed to have been over there, yeah. like the original narrator, but I still was annoyed. Yeah. Like in, um, what is it? I think it's the Carnival of Animals, the one right before The Sorcerer's Apprentice in in 2000. Um, that's the one where, is that, is that the right one? Oh, no, that's that's the that's the Flamingos one. Never mind. I'm talking about the one where it's the Noah's Ark one with Donald Trump. Oh, Jesus, yes. So in that one, I really liked the animation in it because what they basically did was took a bunch of shots from The Lion King and then <laughs> just, like, redid them. It you was know? 900% <laughs> The Lion King. But, but in, in terms of that, I kind of wish that they had done that with The Sorcerer's Apprentice, like taking exactly. all the scenes from The Sorcerer's Apprentice and made them mm. nice-looking animation. 100%. Andre yeah. was so pissed when that came on. He was like, this is a rip-off of The Lion King. And I was like, well, you're not <laughs> Well, right. I wasn't was mad. I was just like, circumstance, yes. Which was very, <laughs> it just doesn't, it doesn't. Work we'll get me. there. We'll get there. Anywho, so <laughs> let's start over with All that right. one. I'm so sorry. Now we're on Fantasia 2000. Andre, we can start with you again. Favorite and least favorite. Um, let's well, let's say them first again. Oh, okay. Yeah, what well, we got me, Fantasia go, 2000. Go this is the one that I like, listeners. So I really, listeners, I hope you guys only watched this one. So, <laughs> if not, I hope feel you didn't your pain. suffer through Fantasia. I feel your pain of sitting through three and a half hours <laughs> so of play, a concert. I'm gonna play a little <laughs> snippet of each of each one. Uh, we have Symphony yes. Number no. Five by <laughs> Ludwig van Beethoven. This is the one where it's basically just a bunch of weird patterns and shapes in the in the but background. But it still looks it the paper glass. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. They got butterflies and. Louise uh, but it looks one. better than the. They basically did the same thing in Fantasia with a right. different song. But at least in this one, I was with like, the oh, absolute music. I right. thought it looked. Style. I thought it still looked better in this yeah. one. This one was cool. Yeah, because they had talked about in the original Fantasia about doing like abstract ones. And they were they were like weird, <laughs> but this one this one at least was uh, smartly. Um, this um, song is legit. Photographed and whatnot. Because it reminds me of um, what song did they do in Glee that had this in the background? Oh, uh, yeah. what is it? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> but that's where that's where the the Night on Ball Mountain in uh, disco version. I think it's the same song. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, I think it weaves those two songs well, no in and I out of like that in and too. out of dis- disco funky fever. Um, I don't okay, like it. so we also had the Pines of Rome by Ottorino Respighi. Oh no, this is Wales. Good lord, we got this the big old whales. CGI Wales, baby. 
And we're humping back. We're not back. talking about each of them yet. Hold on, Lou. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Louis Louis and I are going to hardcore <laughs> argue, so, so be ready, everybody. After that, we have um, Rhapsody, Rhapsody in, in Blue. Blue. Andre's favorite. By George Gershwin. Uh, I just the yes, no, Rose I, Rose, I, but, I no doubt. This one is my favorite. This also, that song is amazing, too. Like, their this song choices were so much better in this one. This is the one set in the 30s where everybody is trying to get a job and or fantasize about not having a job or getting a job. This song makes me think of some particular movie too when I can't think of it. But I'll tell you what it is because okay. I know exactly is what it, it reminds Beetleju- me of. No. no. What is it? What is it? What movie oh, is it? Oh, it reminds in? me of 101 Dalmatians. After that, we have Piano Concerto Number 2 Allegro, Opus 102 by Dmitry Shostakovich. And this is the Tin Soldier. Yes, this is uh, the soldier and his uh, hot two-legged girlfriend <laughs> uh, versus the big old Jack in the Box. Uh, who is? I vividly remember the Jack. Not a who nice guy. So who terrifying. Is, uh, freaking Lord Frollo. Yeah, dude. Yes. Hey, okay, girl, oh get God, over he here. Was. <laughs> All I could think Dance the whole me, time, girl. Was, though, like, <laughs> I knew the rats were coming, and I, I was like, Emily's at home. Crazy. <laughs> I was. Um, yes, that's a good one. <laughs> after that. We have um, the Carnival of the Animals, which yeah. is flamingo and a yo-yo. Yeah, flamingo I yo. I love how they introduced Bro. it so simply. Like, what would happen if you gave a flamingo a yo-yo? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's all you need to know. Um, after that, we, of course, we get uh, The Sorcerer's Apprentice again by Paul Dukas. Uh, oh, and we forgot to say this. That this story is based on a poem, or this song is based on a poem, which basically tells the same exact story of a apprentice working for mm. a magician and messing things up. Um, after that, we get good old Pomp and Circumstance, marches one, two, three, and four. Whatever, I like it. By Edward Elgar. Um, a good old graduation song, remixed <laughs> with Noah's <coughs> Ark and uh, Donald Duck of all characters. I love Donald. Um, He's so cute. I did like this one. It was, it was silly. It was funny. Um, and then the final, final one is the Firebird Suite. 1919 version by Igor Stravinsky. God, that one was so good, too. I'm sorry. I liked Which all is, of these. I really did. Um, okay. Because I like this movie. Mother Nature, The Flying Forest versus... Uh, the Icon. A Moltres. The Icon. <laughs> oh, my God. Andre kept saying that. He was like, <laughs> he was like Moltres is super effective. Critical hit Critical against the forest. <laughs> <laughs> so um, stupid. Yeah. So that, I this, don't know why he didn't text. Cool. All, we should have texted Louise. Because I knew we were coming over here to talk about it. We were so tired. just going to say it now. That's hilarious. Um, yeah, so that those are the pieces every, from every Fantasia Every time the lava thing. <laughs> Critical hit. <laughs> so, yeah, there were a lot less pieces, and each piece is, like, much shorter than, yes. than the others. Thank goodness. Um, All right, Andre. From the main movie. You, you can do it. Favorite? My favorite from Fantasia 2000 is Rhapsody in Blue. Easily. This song is... You should That's be ashamed of yourself. Uh, my compliments to the chef. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm the chef. <laughs> Just say that every time after you burp. Doesn't matter. It works every single time. Um, yeah, Rhapsody in Blue by George Gershwin. This one, this one was dope. Because uh, I, I really like the, the jazzy style. Like, that's something you didn't get at all in the original Fantasia. Um, but it still feels classical, you know? While you're going through it, and then the animation on this one, I I love this style the most. It's it's really cool. A little drummer dude uh, working on the construction site, and, and it was like beautiful. Ping ping popping on all the <laughs> all the rivets and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And then you got the sad depressed boy in the in the coffee shop who can't afford his coffee. <laughs> so <laughs> it, sad. It was it was really cool. I like I like the the story of this one. All it the, reminded all the people, me of an etch a sketch. Yeah, all the people like running to work and mm-hmm. into the elevators and whatnot. This one this one was really fun. Um. I like the little purple, purple ballet girl, too. Yeah. The little oh, yeah. girl who was, like, getting rushed to literally everything. <laughs> it everything. was, like, ballet, oh, I li- see, I like music, swim, the painting, swimming, acrobats. The swimming lessons are so funny because she's just there in, like, a big old floaty tubes and everything. She reminds <laughs> me of, like, Lilo, like, just the most ridiculous She's like, I don't want to be um, here. My favorite oh, from... Oh, the little husband with the yeah, grumpy yeah. wife. He was my favorite. I couldn't get over him. He was hilarious. <laughs> um, but, he I mean... He thought the life he looked for at the end, yeah, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, all of their little fantasies are really are really funny, Andre too. Andre was ready, because as soon as the whales were... He didn't care about the whales. He was ready for the whales to be over <laughs> so he could whales. watch this one. He was stoked. Um, but what was your least favorite? My least favorite? I'm trying to see if it's 
the not the whales. Hang on, let me see. Hang on. Nope, it's the whales. The whales is uh, the Pines of Rome, the Atorino Respighi. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't care for this one. I don't think that I'm sure at at the time in 2000, the CGI whales was like really impressive, but it did not age well. And compared to Fantasia 1940, all of that stuff aged a lot better than than whales from from 2000. Me thinks. Um, and then the the story is interesting, but also weird. At, at one point, I was like, "Okay, so what I think is happening is that they're gonna <laughs> sacrifice the little baby whale to the aliens, so they can get to, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <what I wrote. laughs> so they can get to oh like whale heaven or whatever." <laughs> I, literally was like, I literally was like, "So the aliens are coming." And it's so weird. At one point, the baby whale is literally in like a tractor beam, and it's like, 100%. "Where are, where are we going so <laughs> with with all of this?" Yes. Um. So, but but I mean. In terms of it being, it wasn't like boring or terrible. Uh, I like, wrote, like I don't s- like magic space water. <laughs> 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 and and it is cool when they're like when they get to like the clouds and they're like you know swimming in the clouds or whatever. That that that's that's cool imagery. But other than that, I wasn't I wasn't impressed by by the pines of whales or whatever. <laughs> pines of whales. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Fair enough, Emily. It's your turn. Favorite and least favorite. She's shaking her head because she didn't like 2000 as much as I did. Um, no, I mean, I did. I liked it better than the first one. All right. Um, I'll tell you right now. If pomp and circumstance, I, I don't like it mm-hmm. in this movie. I felt, again, this was one of those where I was like, why did you put this in there? I don't feel like it makes any sense. It doesn't. And I don't like what they did with that song. It doesn't. Right. I don't think it because the with animals that. were marching. Yeah. And they kind of duck does not belong in Noah's Ark, <laughs> <laughs> and he does not <laughs> belong in the Palm and Circumstance. He does song. though, because Donald's ridiculous. So you can put him in anything. That well, I and I don't disagree with you, but I feel like it doesn't make sense in this movie. It's so weird because like it's like I feel no- like it just sticks out. It's not because it's not like Donald is Noah. Donald is Donald. <laughs> And Noah is there, and I don't know what Noah's doing because he gives Donald all of the work. He's like, hey, gather up these animals, put them on my boat, and let's go. (laughs) And Donald's like, okay, I guess. And um, And all he wants is Daisy, and they keep missing each other. It was cute. It was was cute. cute. I liked it. But also, I find it very interesting whenever, like, Donald and Daisy Duck are hanging out with a bunch of other animals, and they're not animals. animals. Like, like, I don't think Noah is treating... Donald and Daisy, like, oh, okay, I got my ducks. No. Like, <laughs> I think he got another pair of, getting, like, he's ducks. ducks. Turn it on. He's Mic on. His ducks in a row? He's getting his ducks in a Pretty row. Sure I did see some ducks. There. <laughs> oh, okay. I Nobody think I probably saw them. Yeah, probably. there were probably some ducks. In the, in the so why are they like because Whatever. Because talking humanoid ducks. I don't know. I love Donald <laughs> Duck. <laughs> Maybe it was a different kind of duck, like a mallard yeah. duck. I'm going to say I think my We're favorite mallards one and was <laughs> the piano concerto snakes snakes? number two. Absolutely. Piano okay. concerto number Which two? Which was the tin soldier one. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. I think that one was my favorite. I, I liked the I story. I had a feeling you would like that it one. It was cool. I liked his little one-legged hop. He was cute. At first, I was like, I was like excited for him because he gets up. He's only got the one leg. He's kind of falling behind compared to the other soldiers. And then he sees the ballerina, and she's only got like one leg, too. And I was like, oh, cool. Look at it. He got, it. He got himself a, a amputee uh, princess or whatever. <laughs> and and then she puts her other leg down. I was like, wow, this is a straight betrayal to I the soldier. I knew it, too. I was thinking to myself, I'm like, I bet you she's in a she's in an arabesque or something. She's got that attitude <laughs> he, in the back. He got very excited when he saw the only one leg. <laughs> oh, my God, I did it. <laughs> I knew this was coming. I found her. <laughs> you, know, you know why I think I liked this one the most was because I felt like it could have been longer. And I did yes. not feel that way about any of the other ones like uh, it was perfect the way they were or or could have been shorter this one i was like all right like i see you i wrote that in my notes that like this it, this one was basically like a toy story short yeah. you know there's, exactly. there's, there's toys they're hanging out they're having an adventure he gets swept away <laughs> with all Which the I rats i was getting like mandalorians flashbacks for you guys <laughs> like when the mandalorians <laughs> in the oh like, like the Lord. tunnel or whatever the well, i was getting <laughs> ratatouille flashbacks and because ratatouille. of the amount of rats in the sewer oh good god that was bad <laughs> yes i was cringing thank you Michelle. yeah mm-hmm. but i did i was getting shrek flashbacks i i agree with the <laughs> what did he say what is that dude's name from shrek the one that looks like the Jack in the Box. Oh no, she said uh, Frollo from 
Hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh, no, Dame. I'm thinking of oh, the you're thing thinking from of, um, Lord Farquaad. Farquaad. <laughs> he reminds me of Farquaad. He was he Farquaad, does, like, too. Yeah, he's more Farquaad. You're then. right. Maybe that's what I was trying Frollo. to say. Farquaad. Yeah. Lord Farquaad. Lord Farquaad. <laughs> Farquaad. But he does die like Lord Frollo. Because yeah, he gets, like, thrown into a hell pit of fire. fire. Yeah, and it's like, oh, <laughs> man. straight into hellfire, y'all. This is what you get for being a creep in this <laughs> toy store, dog, okay? Yes. I remember all of these very vividly, but definitely the jack-in-the-box. That might have sparked my dislike of clowns. <laughs> oh, I don't oh, doubt it's, it. It's basically a clown. It's nasty. But I don't. But I will say that I equally liked Rhapsody in Blue. So I'm right there with you, Andre. I liked yeah. that one a lot. Yeah. The storyline was very cute in that one. Yeah, that one's that one's the standout. Yeah. That that's That's the one... That I would take and be like, okay, this is the Pixar short that's going in front oh, of totally. the next movie or whatever. Oh, yeah. You know? Because it's the most different, too. Like, it stands out Unique. because musically, the way it's animated, Visually. everything about it is yeah. really cool. Yeah. All right. What about you, Michelle? Well, I'll start with my least favorite. And it's, it's kind of hard for me to pick a least favorite because I actually really do like all of these. But my least favorite is probably the last one. Mm. Um, the Firebird Suite. Yeah, it's good. I don't like that one either. Um, it's good, like, but it, it didn't have any, for some reason I needed the colors to be more vivid. Like, I remember mm. as a kid being more vivid when she was creating the forest and I thought it was a lot brighter, but watching it this time I was like, oh, that was kind of muted. That's um, so I think I thought it was a lot cooler as a kid, but upon this watching, all I was was confused about who the moose was. Like, why was that moose so Oh, important? I said, uh, that's Bambi's dad. Was Bambi's dad? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wrote. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bambi's dad, he helps. But there's spark nobody up the else forest. in the forest besides that moose. He's a reindeer. <laughs> I thought he was it's an elk. Definitely not a moose. Yeah, he's an elk or a reindeer or a reindeer or something like that. Um, so he I definitely was, was not a moose. I will yeah. tell so you really right the now. So really, the whole time, no like, the focus <laughs> is supposed to be Mother Nature, right? But I'm just thinking about the moose. Like, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> who that moose? Who that moose? Why is he so in tune with nature? But I did, like, once Andre was like, oh, it's Motres, super effective. I was like, okay, this is pretty funny. Like, it's good now. <laughs> because then if you watch it again thinking that, and you're like, yeah, fire's good against grass. Like, it makes sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> So, <laughs> watch it again thinking of Pokemon. Uh-huh. You might like that it That is hilarious. Yeah. And then Bambi's dad came and used a restore on uh, a revive on Mother yeah. Nature, and she yeah. came back to life. Yeah. Yeah. Stantler. Pokemon Center. Yeah, yeah Stantler. Stantler. Yeah. 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 It really does work, honestly. That's why we were... We, I, once he said that, I was like, okay, oh I could watch it. this from a different perspective. That's you know? Poker um, references. I, I do like that one, though. Can I say this, I too, though? I do like it. I love all... I like all of them. Mm-hmm. It's just my least favorite. Oh, You're okay. going to hate me when I say this. I... Would say that out of all of them, Sorcerer Mickey, uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice, yeah. or whatever, is low on this. Mm. Totem You're not pole. wrong. I, I'm on, I'm not even including it because I didn't like watch it again. No, but I'm saying like in in re- terms of these ones, yeah, uh-huh. because they it didn't is. do anything to it. Like yeah. it was kind of on the lower. Yeah. It's probably end. better than Donald Duck on the Ark, but what? <laughs> but, uh, but <laughs> okay, okay. Well, here's where we're gonna fight. Okay, so <laughs> Donald Duck on the my Ark. My favorite. Don't tell me that's your favorite. No, okay, but good. well, y- y'all are gonna <laughs> well, fight me. Okay, so my top two, and they're really, really close to being tied, is the Donald Duck Noah's Ark one and the whale one. But my favorite oh one boy. is the whale one. Oh, good God, Michelle. Is it because it's in water? No, <laughs> oh, in the just, sky? I really like it. Because there's aliens? There's no aliens. You guys are crazy. They're all aliens. But I, I remember watching, and, and as soon as it came on, I was like, <laughs> shut up, nobody asked you. But as, as soon as it came on, I was like, babe, it's the whales. And you were like, yeah, the whales. Yeah, like, he was trying to act like he knew what I was talking about. But I think as a kid, I, like, really, really liked that one. So when it came on, I was like, I know this. It's nostalgic. Y'all are wrong. I thought the storyline was cute. I thought them swimming was cute. And then they went up into space. It was cute. And then they called all the whales, and they were in the clouds, and it was cute. And I liked it. So suck on it. Okay. <laughs> Louise We're going to forgive you because it's your childish impression and not your adult impression. <laughs> if it were your adult impression, <laughs> I would banish you from my life. Well, it is. Banished. It is like a child. like birthday, so I guess would be nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Even on your birthday, I would banish you if you were, if you were an adult. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, you're not. <laughs> Luis is not wrong because I'm holding on to it being like, I really liked this as a kid, and I still like it. Perfect. I get it. So... Acceptable, and it's partially yes because it's water. But you know, mm. that was me as a kid. So Emily, you're not wrong there either. Yeah. And I like whales. <laughs> well, let's start with that one because it's my least favorite. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I was trying to tell him that. Hang on a second. Can you let him okay. borrow your mic for a second? Yes. Because his is not working for whatever reason. Just, 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 just borrow hers. Yeah. Let me. Let me oh, see. here you can borrow mine. Can borrow mine. Mic swap. <coughs> okay, mic so. Swap. 
I respect your childish uh, nostalgia. Childish. No, 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 no. Listen, guys, I'm sorry. Sometimes I'm childish, I don't say everybody. It the right way. No, it's okay, Louis. But what I'm trying to say is, I respect the feeling that you had of uh, nostalgia. when you watched it as a child. Yes. And the nostalgia feeling, I respect yes. that. Uh, but to me, come on. When is a whale gonna be out of water? It should have died <laughs> 27 <laughs> seconds above. No, no. I'm sorry. I'm not. No, I don't know how long they can last above water, but it should yeah. have been dead. But I think that's why I liked it as a kid because it was like oh, the whale's flying. Wow, how magical! You know, like as a kid. You know, yeah, scientifical. That te- um, that's that's Luis was like, I wasn't that kid. Science has <laughs> my beef with it because mm. there's no way logically that that whale would be out of water for that long. It was a magical whale. I thought no. they were un- under some kind of hypnosis because of the way that they were all just like going in the same direction. I was mm-hmm. like, all of these. They whales. were going towards light. Towards yeah, that's where you die when you go. I was thinking like flies towards a like. Yeah, crazy they were. Light. They were really. Were you confused when they broke at the top and it was water? They were clouds. It was water. No. But then at the very end when they broke through, when they were going to that light thing, So they went above water. the clouds, uh-huh. and then they went even higher, and then they came out of water. They oh, yeah, when they were in... Oh, yeah. So it's like space is water. Space water. Space water. <laughs> Atmospheric space water. Whalians. But that's what made me like, <laughs> ooh, they tricked our minds. I don't know. Whalian. I liked it, whatever. Whalians. Whalians. First off, my mind wasn't tricked, because I know that is not true. <laughs> Whales are not it's above not the water. True. Not true. So none of it was. I was like, as soon as I saw it, I was like, man, I'm calling bull on that. You weren't <laughs> worried about the baby whale when it was trapped in the iceberg? Not really, because it should have never been trapped in the first place. Okay, it would have never off, been trapped. Okay, first off, we have a toddler, and that could totally happen to a toddler. Could happen to a toddler whale. Okay, sure. So that part no, was it sad. would not be above the air falling <laughs> into the iceberg. Oh. And it would have never gotten trapped in the first the problem, place. The problem I had with that may particular have into it, but scene no. was that, like, the baby whale was right behind a pretty thin sheet of ice, and the parent whales were just, like, outside of it, and they didn't seem like they were trying to get in at all. Like, I would have been they bumping were, my big old whale body guiding. up against that no. sheet of ice. <laughs> they were Watch out, baby whale. Boom. They, they, gave they gave were guiding him to the thing where he would float. They gave to up the to the tractor beam. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. Anyway. Beam me up, Willie. <laughs> That's my least favorite. Uh, which <laughs> one is your favorite, Luis? Let's hear it. Yeah, Whoa. which one's your favorite? Gosh, guys, can I have a least favorite and then get to the favorite? Well, that oh. was your least favorite. <laughs> no. He wants to say more. He about my nah, whales. Go ahead. My, what my more poor whaley. little hunchback whales <laughs> that nobody appreciates. Humpback. Hunchback. <laughs> oh, I said hunchback. Hunchback, <laughs> hunchback whales. <laughs> Although that'd be that'd be pretty interesting. Hellfire. <laughs> 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 that makes a lot more difference than than humpback whales because hunchback maybe whales. they have a bad spine alignment. So yeah, that's know. why they're flying. <laughs> yeah, they gotta get away from Frollo. <laughs> <laughs> if I were to say <laughs> any one of them is my favorite. I don't really have a favorite, let's be honest, because it's not my cup of tea, this whole movie, but mm. it, oddly enough, I kind of liked the Donald Duck one. <laughs> I liked it, too. I Thank you, Lou. One. It was silly. That one was definitely the most, you know, silly cartoony yeah. one of, of them all, and I liked it for that, but in terms of it being a Noah's Ark story or in the music. But the thing... I feel well, like if it had different uh, music and it was not in this movie, I would think it was splendid. I didn't mind right. the music. I didn't mind it. Like in that context, because when it was like din, 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 the animals were just marching onto the boat, so it made sense to me. Because what are you doing when you hear that song? You're walking, you know. <laughs> You're walking. So <laughs> you walking. Uh, so it made sense to me, and I I just like it because I like Donald, and it was silly. Right, and, and Donald's s- fun. I mean, yeah. I don't understand why he's in the Noah's Ark story, but I'm not mad no. about it. I'm just mad about Somebody it. Somebody had that idea, and they were <laughs> like, "It's good enough." You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> we'll get it's by with fine. that. Yeah, let's throw Donald um, in one of these. We so what I noticed Mickey though one. is like, it's very similar. They tried to do things in Fantasia 2000 that were obviously very similar to the first one. So, I think that's why they threw in the like two minute long flamingo one because they were like, "There's flamingos in the first one. We gotta yeah. put flamingos in the second one." Oh. And even if you're thinking about Chernobog, hold and on, Mold- flamingos in the first one. Yeah, there's flamingos. Uh, Wait, in which? Oh, not flamingos. I'm thinking ostriches. Oh, okay. Oh. No, but they yeah, were like birds, silly. Yeah, yeah, animals, yeah. No, silly right. Long-legged birds in the um, first one. Yeah, but sure. I think <laughs> ever since you told me that that thing was Moltres, I was like, yeah, it's like Chernabog, and they ended on that one. Yeah. I don't know. So I think they were trying to do like 
some similarities, but I will say I didn't quite understand why there was a different celebrity introducing each and everything. Like, is that where they invested all their money? In? Star power, baby. Yeah, I think that Do you think? very much so. They were like, Fantasia was a were flop. Huge. We need to like, mm-hmm. well, yeah, they were great. Steve but that, like, was Fantasia that much of a flop? They were like, if we're going to redo this, we got to get some names in there. I won't lie. I would have kind of liked it if Steve Martin had just done it the whole time. Yeah, I, th- <laughs> like, I, thought, I, know, I, I thought that's what was going to happen. So did I. Did you started. wait till the credits? After the credits? No. Did he come back? He was talking. He was like, camera on me, camera back on me. <laughs> did you remember how oh, he said that? Am I yeah. done? Can I get a ride home? Can I get a ride home? <laughs> <laughs> I won't lie. I would have liked it had it been him the whole time just because I like Steve Martin a lot. Yeah. What did I say? Hi, Bob Iger. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was so this tired. This one. Bob Iger. She goes, hey, Bob, Bob Iger. I was like, Bob Iger. was like, that's Steve Martin. You shut your Excuse? mouth. Like, I'm really tired. I almost thought it was Inspector Gadget as well. So, you know. Inspector Matthew <laughs> Broderick. <laughs> Inspector Gadget. <laughs> no. <laughs> My goodness. But I will ha- I will say, though, anytime Bette Midler's on the screen, I'm happy, too. So Yeah, yeah I know. Bette I said Bette that, too. I was like, it's Bette Midler. And uh, the homie t- James Earl Jones For showed sure. up. And I was like, Darth Vader in the house. I know. He was in our oh last movie. Yeah. Yeah, you know, he shows up. He was like, I let them use that footage He's from been The Lion King. At least, <laughs> at least three wall vaults now. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, James Earl Jones in the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Who else was there? Um, Angela Penn Lansbury. And Teller. Yes. Penn and Teller. Um, Luis was like, Who is the curly haired guy? He had really curly hair. Uh, Mickey Mouse was talking to him. Oh, I believe that was one when of the... When they were trying to introduce that was Donald. One that was one it? of the, yeah, like the composers oh, or something like that. Um, Quincy Jones was in it. Yes. Um, what did you say when Penn and Teller came up? Do you remember, Lou? It was cute. You're like the tall guy and the small guy. <laughs> the guy who cut the other guy's hair, remember? No, I don't remember what I said. Well, it was cute, Sorry, dang it. The tall guy and the small guy. <laughs> That's what they should call their show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. Tall guy and the small guy. Tall guy and the small guy. Anyways, I still I think Fantasia 2000 is better than regular Fantasia, but overall, Fantasmic is the best. <laughs> okay. Better than Mickey and Magical Map. Um, um, they're pretty close. I can't go. You can't go wrong with Mickey and the Magical Map, man. Mickey and the Magical Map is better because I could just watch it on any given day. Like you don't have to. Wait forever for like how phantasmic is now. Truth, but phantasmic mm. is like an experience. Right. Truth. You have to like whisper about it. it's an experience. an experience. Also, I have a really cool phantasmic sweater and I like it. I should have worn it today. Yep. So I'm assuming this the first one did not make any money. So okay. Yeah, let's <coughs> talk moolah. I had said in the beginning that when this first when it first came out, it was um, a flop. It was a flop. It it did not a flip. It did not flop, do very a well. Flop. But um, the power of the forties is that there's mm. no home video, <laughs> so oh. uh, it took until the sixties for them to re-release it again. And in the sixties, they marketed it. They marketed it as a like psychedelic experience. And what? That, and that got people in the door. So what? They're doing drugs and watching this. They they didn't. Uh, necessarily that's encourage people I to do that. That's what I think when I think psychedelic But experience. I bet that's what happened because they but said... They th- like what else drugs? would you be thinking? I mean, they, they were saying that it's that it's like trippy and fun and um, fantastical in its animation and <laughs> elements dream and stuff like that. Dream of fantastic dream. And, <laughs> and, people, <laughs> and people sure. showed up. They, 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 uh, Use your imagination. <laughs> 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 well, that fantastic's kind of like that too, so that's fine. Yeah. I remember being a kid like, oh my God, this is scary. <laughs> It is scary. <laughs> it's scary. So, so in total, um, I believe. So you're telling me that they re-released it exactly <laughs> the same way mm-hmm. 20 years later, and were like. But they remarketed it, and they, they were like, like, "It's trippy, y'all. Come on, come <laughs> check this baby out." Oh people were like, "Okay, gosh. dude, that's hilarious." All right, brother. And then they got in <laughs> there, and they and that that's where the, like the cold following of it really started is when okay. they re-released yeah. it in the 60s because people were like, "This movie is awesome. It's cool. Let's." Uh, let's start doing the characters. I think that's when they sure. trotted out the hippos and the yeah, those stuff things like were that. popular like back then. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the hippos. I remember. I'm pretty sure I saw those hippos in the park once. I think it was a parade. I need to try to ask my mom see if she's got some photos. Um, so it had a budget of two point two eight million dollars in in 1940, Whoa. and dang, it, it has a current worldwide box office of eighty three point three million. So Current, okay. Yeah, but I mean that's a that's a big come up from from two from two yeah. to eighty. Well, what's two? Can you tell me inflation? What two uh, would have been? That's a good. I mean, like they're probably just making money off of 
Sorcerer Mickey merch, right? Do you think that they get the royalties for that? For Sorcerer Mickey would be with that movie? Oh, yeah. Well, well actually, right? well, no, like merch, merch is not included in um, like a box office total. Sure. Um, oh, this is just a box office total? Yeah. Okay. Um, I didn't know if like, because I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah, merch, they're still making money off that. merch is insane. Absolutely. You know? um, just for inflation and Fantasia. Speaking of, we have a Sorcerer Mickey in the other room. Eddie has <gasps> one. Mm-hmm. Oh, I want to see it. It's so super cute. cute. I love Sorcerer Mickey. I always wanted that hat. She's always trying to take its take his robe off, though. Like she, <laughs> she's like trying to undo she's like, the why gold is he wearing cord. This? Yeah, she's like trying to like redress him. I'm like, it's part of his thing. Leave it on. Yes. So adjusted for inflation, uh, Fantasia originally made seventy four million dollars, and adjusted for inflation, it made seven hundred forty two million dollars. So <laughs> nearly nearly a billion bucks. Um, uh, Fantasia on Rotten Tomatoes currently has a ninety. Where'd it go? Ninety four percent, which is very good. And Fantasia mm. two thousand on Rotten Tomatoes has an eighty one percent. So mm. pretty close. Not too shabby. Mm. Uh, All right. Good movies. Those are their opinions. <laughs> yes, <laughs> those are their opinions. And I guess I don't know if I would recommend. Oh, I'm not the, gonna the entirety of Fantasia one to anyone. Like no. I, don't, I don't think you should like. I would sit never down put watch, anybody through that. Watch all these, but you know, if you want to take Keep a stop. Yes, I have. I have the end all be all here. Okay, out of all the movies we've watched on these Walt Valtians <laughs> episodes, okay, we've only had one other movie where we were like, "This is such baloney." Okay, and it was recent. Which one was it? Christmas. A Christmas Carol. Christmas Carol. Oh, okay. that was worse than this. Yikes. Okay, so yeah. that was still that was worse, than worse. Okay. worse than definitely this. Definitely worse. Okay, definitely worse. So you would you would recommend and this I before re- you would recommend I would that? Recommend I watched Fantasia. this thirty times over before <laughs> yeah. I ever watched. Christmas I would Carol, too. Yeah. We were depressed for weeks. Okay, okay. 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 weeks. I'm not even kidding. Um, I would recommend this to people who appreciate Disney classics for sure. But I'm not gonna like tell somebody who's like never seen a Disney movie to go watch Fantasia. Like okay. that's a dumb move. I might tell them to go watch Sorcerer Mickey on YouTube. That's about it. Yeah, right. I think if classical music is like your main jam, is like if it's like your yeah the thing that you enjoy the most, then yeah, yeah check out Fantasia. For a art history movie project for college. Why don't you watch this movie? Yeah, write yeah. a thesis on Fantasia. But if you want a uh, couple of fun stories set to classical music, then watch Fantasia 2000. Fantasia 2000 yeah. is the way to go. True, I think. Good. Like I'd yeah. put Fantasia 2000 on in the background if my kids are just like messing around the house. Like, they're like, look, I'm an ostrich. Funny. Okay, babe. <laughs> I won't lie to you though. Addie and Ollie really did like the whales. So uh, mm. I'm telling you, that's why I think I liked it. Like as a kid, I think I was like, wow. childish. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> childish. <I said> childish. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Luis didn't mean to call me childish. Okay. Mm. Thank you. Okay, babe. Um, Fantasia 2000. I mean, Fantasia. Do we have to? Rating them separately? I kind of want to give it all one big rating. (laughs) What? Is that weird? Yeah, I'm giving mine two. You can do what you want. Okay. (laughs) Sounds good. I'm going to rate both. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) Actually, well, I don't know. I I like like 2000 so much better. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, it's really bringing down the score of Fantasia 2000. (laughs) (laughs) If I do that. What did we give give Scrooge? Like a two? We didn't. Oh, we said it was unrated. We literally did not. We gave it a zero, dude. Like negative 10. So, okay. Fantasia, I'm going to give, like... For what it was in the 40s or for what it is now, because that makes a difference. For what it was in the 40s... Pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's an interesting, long... Boring. Kind of boring. I would say relaxing more than boring. Mm. Because that's how I felt. took me on a date to see that. And I think that's how it would feel. In the 40s, though? Maybe not. You weren't even allowed to go on a date with, like, Me. by yourself. <laughs> 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 Babe! You weren't. Absolutely. It was 100% <laughs> illegal. <laughs> we could not have gone to see Fantasia together. I would have gotten uh, strung up, okay? It okay, would not have gone well. this is a family-friendly podcast. And y'all need to know about the past. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> right in time for the holiday. So <laughs> I, I think for even for its time, it, it's not an exciting movie or one that I would have watched all the way through or wanted to watch all the way through. I, I think for the 1940 version, I'm going to give it like 
a 6.5. You know, okay. it's it's it's, it's, bad. it's executed well. All the animation la- matches up with the music and stuff, you know? So that's impressive. <laughs> that's that's impressive. impressive. And the Sorcerer's and Prejudice is really good. I, I yeah. really like it. 10 and out of 10. Recommend. Yeah. And Night on Ball Mountain is dope. It's sick. Animation-wise, <laughs> they did so good in the first half of that particular one. Mm-hmm. Like, with the ghosts and stuff, pretty cool. Yeah. And then the second half is done so awfully, though. Like, <laughs> they thought they it was do? good, though. They were like, this is great. <laughs> like this. Ave Maria, y'all, boom. Ave Maria. <laughs> <laughs> they were <laughs> those animators were at home like, yes. <laughs> and <laughs> then <laughs> for Fantasia 2000, which I think is better, much better, uh, much more concise. I won't say cohesive. I think I, I I'll say that it's like um, it's more diverse than than Fantasia yeah. 1940. Um, but even all that being said, I think I'm only gonna give it like. Uh, 7.5, 7.8, or something like that. Th- this isn't my type of movie. I'm, yeah. I, 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 I'm not really just going to put this on to watch it. I might watch Fantasia. one of the shorts. You going to watch Fantasia 2020? Fantasia 2020. Yeah. Sources Apprentice again. Hit him on YouTube. <laughs> 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 Copy paste. Yeah. Hit it. Sources Apprentice. Copy okay. paste. Not bad. Yeah. Well, I'll watch that flamingo one again. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. <laughs> Three purely minutes, 20 seconds. Let's go. Purely for the length and the music choice and the uh, it put me to literal sleep, I'm going to give Fantasia, original Fantasia, a five. I like want to give Fantasia. it I want to <laughs> give it a six only for Sorcerer Mickey. Like six. I'll give it a six because Sorcerer Mickey is a 10 out of 10. I really like it. And now the more I'm thinking about the weird Zeus one, I'm like, that one was pretty good. Like, I don't hate mm-hmm. that one. It was good. But it was just so long. Mm-hmm. We didn't need it to be that long. You needed to choose music that was 10 minutes tops. And that's the difference maker is that the it's music choices dictated difference. how long these yeah. were. I felt like the Fantasia 2000 was moving forward because <laughs> when, when he said intermission, I literally – dropped and was like what <laughs> we're halfway <laughs> done with this movie <laughs> or like they just it, their pacing was so off yeah. so so off so s- i'll give it a six regular fantasia 2000 i'm gonna agree with you i'm gonna give it like a seven seven and a half mm-hmm. i think it's good and in comparison to both of them it was an improvement for me it's succinct i like the music better i like the animation better i was awake and it was more fun even though it's awake. not my style of movie yeah. per se so I agree with that. That's my scores. Emily. Whatever you want to do is fine. I don't know how you're rating you these. You want to double rate. <laughs> Six. You don't want to co-rate. I don't know. Six. Six for the first one. Okay. Same, same's all around. Six, seven and a half. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to say really six and then like a seven. Yeah. Point oh. It's like a D. <laughs> oh. it's like Point it's like a negative one. It's like a D, D. Like it's like a D and like a C plus. It's like no, it's like a D and a C minus. No, uh, I gave it a C plus. I just, I have no nostalgic tie to it, so I don't feel yeah. like yeah. the need to give it anything more. And I know that's that sounds mean, but I like, and I think it's because this isn't my type of thing. Even though I feel like a very musical person, this yeah. just wasn't my my deal. I mean, if they redo this to like musical numbers and like Donald More Duck's singing. like, Donald Duck's like, it's time to try defying gravity. Because I'm sure he's going to do wicked. Because <laughs> he can fly. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> I don't know. He can fly like because he's a duck? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. Mm-hmm. I will tell you, though, that the one thing that. What was I going to say? I don't know. The one thing. Something you liked? The one thing you liked? No. Nope. I don't think you didn't like. It's maybe right. I liked Bye. the second one more because the celebrities and I didn't even know it. I don't know. Maybe I, don't I was know. like, "Mom, who's that?" And she was like, "That's so and so." That's James Earl Jones. <laughs> that and I was like, "Cool." <laughs> oh look, it's who that's did you Bob Iger. <laughs> Bob Iger, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Lou, do you want to give uh, scories? Fives, 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 two fives. Not my thing. But you know, technically what? a ten. At least we gave this <laughs> we Combined gave this movie fabulous. a score. That's true. We did. Yeah. Right. We did. So indeed. Luis Luis hasn't heard our plans for our next movies, but he might be excited. Oh yeah. Next time on the Walt Vault is actually gonna be the next three times. Yeah, the next on three movies. The Walt Vault. Oh good God. Luis's face. I'm we are doing all 
of the Toy Story sequels. Toy Story 2, Toy Story 3, Toy Story 4. Not in one episode. They're each going to be a separate episode. Yes. Because Toy Story 4 is coming out, what did you say, February, February 5th? February 5th. On Disney+. Plus. On Disney+. Plus. Disney Plus. So, so what do you think, Lou? Cool. Nice. <laughs> cool. Nice. That's good for him. Cool, cool. indeed. Yeah, and I'm really excited about Toy Story 2 because this is my favorite. Mm. This is the one I grew up on. Yeah. Um, Toy Story dos. Ay un amigo en mi. Oh, you know what? We don't have to do Empire Strikes Back because that's basically Toy Story 2. It's, it's <laughs> <in> there. <laughs> There's it a lot really of Star Wars is. references in Toy Story 2. A lot. And I'm ready oh. to discuss Oh, Emily, them yeah, all. get ready. There's so many Star Wars references. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, baby. <gasps> Hi, okay. Ollie. How do you feel about Toy Story? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Can you guys hear her smile? She's so cute. Because she's smiling. She, she likes to talk when it's not in yeah, her face. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Thank yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. All so right. yes, listeners, go back and watch, uh, listen to, watch, li- well, watch and listen to the regular Toy Story episode, which yes. we did probably a year ago. It was <laughs> more than that. Dude, it, it was, was almost, episode it was 11, which ago. came out episode in like 11, shut up. June of 2018 or something like that. Okay, or January well, of Well, I'm excited because I really like Toy Story. Yes. It's a great series. That's right. So head to Disney Plus, catch up on Toy Story, um, and uh, catch up on us by going to at the Walt Vault Pod on social media. We're everywhere. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. <laughs> uh uh, slide into our DMs. Let us know what you thought of the movies. <laughs> Let us know if you have any questions for us. Um, which one is your favorite? Do you like Fantasia more or Fantasia 2000? Drop it in the comments below, YouTubers. Also, smash that like button. Hit subscribe. Somebody tell me Follow. they like the whales. Let's prove these haters wrong. Who? Tell Michelle she's wrong. All right. Uh, <laughs> you can do all of that. Um, uh, send us an email to contact at thewaltvaultpod.com. We will Dead. read your message on the show. Um, go to our Patreon, patreon.com slash the Walt Vault. Uh, that helps uh, support us, keeps the lights on in here, and uh, helps us buy new equipment because mics are cutting out all over the place in, in this vault. Um, that's it for now, you guys. We will see you next time for some Toy Story goodness. The vault now closed. <laughs>